What is up boys and girls? Welcome to new chess video. Um, so, uh, I'm not going to do a normal rapid game today because chess.com has launched in preparation of for Halloween, which is in a couple of weeks, they've launched some zombie chess bots. So, what I thought we could do is do a little bit of a speed run through the zombie chess bots, starting with Zombani, which is Zombie Danny Wrench. Um, we're going to choose him, we're going to go random. We have the white pieces. Brain shakalaka, time for a game. All right. So this is meant to be uh, 400 rated. And let's go, we'll go King Gambit, shall we? Why not? And take some Bishop's Gambit. And now H6. Yeah. Well, Queen is here, so let's uh, develop Knight. I'm gonna go, hopefully, fairly quickly through the uh, opening moves. Okay, there's no reason really not to castle here. Now Queen is out, Queen's looking at this, that's defended. Uh, this is a move that it takes away C3 from the Knight, but it comes with tempo, and we can then play. Okay, well he's just failed to spot that his Bishop was under attack, so there we go. Oh, Danny. Oh, Danny, what have you done? Let's grab the center. Abstraction center. Not many people understand what I'm on about there. But uh, it appears that most of the, uh, the, the male umpires in uh, international netball are from New Zealand for some reason. Okay, so we're attacking this pawn. It's defended by the queen. If I move my knight, though, it's attacked twice. We did the mash. We did the monster mash. Okay, but in, in terms of principles, right there, king is still in the in the center. Okay. Um, all right, you attack my bishop. I have this. He's got blocks, blocks. They don't work. Or he's got pawn blocks. So pawn blocks is, is the best move. Then I can retreat to here anyway. Bishop block doesn't work, knight block doesn't work, that doesn't work because it drops a rook. Brains. Hmm. So opponent has uh, managed to castle. G3 is even a thought here, thinking that the zombie may stumble into that and, and lose his queen to my bishop. That's a thought, but uh, let's play more principled. I think I want to put my bishop back here, line it up with this king. I'm up in material. If he wants to trade off his knight, then be my guest. Okay. Now, this pawn is now pinned. Okay. Cannot, cannot move. That means that the knight is defended only by the queen. Um, let's go for this. Shall we? It's a bit of a cheapo, but hey. Okay. You have not fallen for that trick. Right, so I think I like queen d3. Gets out of the pin. Okay, now you attack my rook. I can't take there because when knight takes, pawn recaptures, I lose my rook. Don't want that to happen. So let's put the rook on e1. I prefer to keep both the... There we go, okay. Uh-huh. Um, attack, queen... Why not? Also connects the rooks, which completes development. And you fail to spot that your queen is there. No, he says. Well, you're a 400 rated zombie. What could, you know, what do we expect? This point is still pinned. I would like to bring in more firepower. Let's, should we, ooh, there, there, yeah, let's push. Oh, he's got bishop as well. And I think pushing. Well, that's check, right? The king can step, can't go there. King has to go there, or knight takes, right? But this is all going to end in tears. So let's just push on. Try and get the queen. He has to take. I recapture. And it's checkmate. Cool. Next bot, please. Right, this is Zotes. So this is um, 
Is this Alexandra? It's actually quite good like oh uh, the Zilber Mint's Gambit. Never heard of it. What did I just play D five? I just played I just played a Scandinavian. I wasn't even thinking. Um right, well in that case I'm taking a free pawn in the middle of the board. Let the fun start, she says. Uh-huh. Okay, so what this isn't eight hundred rated. So I need to be relatively ca careful. Okay, I, th I think I like e5. e5 gives us good control of the center and it has a discovery on this pawn. I'm not scared. I'm happy to castle. Let's drop back to here. Looking there. Okay. Well, this is fine. Bishop takes. Okay, now. Either knight can come out. This looks okay. Uh, queen here is a cheap shot with the idea of a, a sudden mate, but then that just invites knight f3. Okay, and, and what have I got to show for my efforts? Nothing. Okay, let's move to the bishop again. She, it. Um. I mean, there's a lot of very natural looking moves here. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to delay castling, I think. I, I'm going to bring out my other knight. We, the queens are facing off, has to be said. Let's put bishop here, queen here. Okay. This is all good. I think this is good. Okay, it's attacking bishop. I'll just drop back. And I'm thinking of this and then some kind of discovery ideas against the queen. There we go. So now actually I can I can snatch this pawn for free, if I wish. And why not? That's a move. And again, the zombie has... Yeah, I know you needed it, but it's named after you, so what the hey. This is the Botez Gambit, where you sacrifice your queen for no <laughs> compensation at all. <laughs> right, um, bring the bishop back, try and trade off, and there we go. And now we basically, it's a walk-in. So I want, to, I want to target this pawn. The reason is because it's pinned. Um, she might come after my bishop. So I'll just put my bishop here. Okay. Now let's play this, because I'm targeting both that and that. And this wins material with a fork on king and rook. Thank you very much. I'll take that. I'll come here. You have to come there. And okay, right. Now, this is something I need to practice, which is um, finishing off in the most efficient style. So, queen year, king has to go year. I mean, I've got to check with the bishop, but then king goes day, see, that's... Uh, then I have that, no, it doesn't work. Everything defends. Um, bishop here, king here, check. Takes bishop, doesn't work. Okay, he's gonna have to come here or here. That doesn't work. Still waking up today. I've got a big day today. I've got a chap coming for a didgeridoo making workshop. You don't hear that all the time, do you? Okay. In the corner. So what I want is I want to be able to capture that, but I can't because it's a light square and then my knight is actually a long way from that. Place. So, what do we do? That is Hyang Pawn. If I check again, it has to come here. Check that, that might work. At least it's all forced, yeah? Then here and that. Okay. Uh, that is annoying. I feel 
like a zombie myself today. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, how about this? There's a bloody thought. Okay, well, made a brain pie out of that with Zombiano Caruana. Okay, let's go E4. Let's go. Let's go Danish. And the Bayer Gambit. This is this is not good for Black. You take this pawn, and they can't really take that that one. Okay. Um, if I defend with the knight, we've got pawn takes here. Okay, so I've moved to queen early on. I'm not going to stress too much about this pawn. Um, I think I want to keep this one, so. And queen did not take. Okay, well, let's defend in that case. Queen comes here. Right. Defended. Defended. Bishop defends that, but I do have this. This is a, a tempo move. Does it gain anything? The question is, where's the queen going to go? Is she going to go somewhere unpleasant? I'm just going to develop my knight. It's kind of a, you know, a single move idea. Um, just to, you know, attack the queen and get her to move somewhere else. And then it's like, well, what have we achieved? Put my bishop on not the most... I mean, it's, it's not a bad square. It's got quite good visibility of the board, but... Okay, what's happening? What is happening here? It's a developing move. But... I don't know. Uh, two attackers on here. Not enough defenders. Therefore, I am going to do this move. The queen doesn't have time to do that. And again, the zombie blunders the queen. Stop blundering your queens, you stupid zombies. Right. Uh, thought is this. It hits the knight. Again, we just want to simplify now. Okay, I'm doing a quick sanity check. Okay, I'm going to trade off because I'm up in material. Way up. Castles. And now I'm, I'm going to blitz this now, I think. He says. But then it took me a, a long time to finish off the Botez zombie. All right, now. Centralizing the rooks. Pushy, pushy, push, push. Attacking my knight. Okay, well, I counterattack. If you take, rook takes. And I take. I just want to trade everything off. Ah, well, that would be an attack on my queen. So. Could come here or here. It's here, I think. It's defended. Okay, let's go in with the knight. Have a cheapo f7. Um, well, that knight's defended. There's no, there's no fork now. Could go here. Attack the knight. This is the thought, though. King has to move now. I, uh, I could push. That's currently defended twice. If king takes knight, that's defended three times. Attack twice doesn't work. So what we do is we hold our ground. We trade stuff off because it wins. And now let's. Uh, I mean, do what do I want to withdraw the knight? What do I want to do? Push pawns up the board. Push pawns up the board. Push more pawns up the board. I will crush you like a bug. Okay. Well, that's your call. Alrighty. 
to put queen here. The idea is knight takes here, and its only defender is pinned, and cannot re. Oh, yeah. Well, I say I say that. You know, I say that. Um, take rook. A take a pawn. Pin at knight. I'll just trade off. Okay. And I think we'll probably make a start on this. I want to give check here rather than here. And I'll tell you for why, because I don't want the king to run away that way. And that's a check. And can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. Um, is that mate? No, it's not, because you've got this square. Let's squeeze it up then. And now you can't go there, you can't go there. That's mate, yeah? Cool. Next bot, please. Zombiachi. Now, um, I actually we played this one yesterday uh, in the chess bootcamp session, and he's gone King's Gambit. Ooh, cool. Right. Now he said King's Gambit. What the heck? Look, it's the same pattern. Now, I have this, but I've got my pawn on there. That's so they're in g3. Doesn't quite work anymore. All right. I did just defend the pawn. Oh, I don't approve of that. I do not like that. Um... Bring up this knight. If he wants to push, I can then take on e5. All right. I'll put the question to him. Um, we can keep going if we want to, but... Queen here. I've got bishop out. Walks into c3. Bishop here is a thought. He's got quite good control over these dark squares, you see. Um, for now, at least. This may be the more flexible move, you know. Should we get the knight to the centre? This pairs the knights for now. Okay, I'm going to kick you again. I'm going to force him right back. And that actually traps his own bishop. Okay, so now we can take. Oh, what is this nonsense? Ah, oh, slightly failed to see what my opponent was up to there. Okay, so you threatened to take my knight. Well, that's not the end of the world, actually. Um, if I take pawn takes, I'm losing two knights. That just is not right. This breaks the pin. You take my knight, I take your bishop. You take with a pawn, I save my knight. And you've pushed on. Okay, don't know why. Don't know why she swallowed a fly. Brings. Uh, here, I, I kind of like these two squares here. Um, I can take with the king or the knight, I'll take you with the king. I'm plus five. This is not a 1400. Uh, if takes, pawn takes. Yeah, 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 yeah. This uh, knight takes, pawn takes, I lose a pawn. Um... I've also got a knight here or bishop here. Bishop there hits queen. I should get my queen off the back rank. Maybe I should put my my bishop on the long diagonal. 
This knight is attacking this pawn now. Let me see what, uh, Capture your pawn. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. I love this. That's just... You have to admit it's sexier. Okay. Name the quote. In fact, name the episode. And you plunge your queen. This is not... I mean, this is like a... a one, I'm generously a 1,000 bot, if I'm being generous. Okay. However, we must be careful, because there's still material around that could harm us. Bringing the knight up, releasing the queen, releasing also the bishop. Looks like I'm losing my knight, but I'm not, because if he takes, I take back with a fork. And that's a check. Okay. I think I can just sidestep. I'm very safe from the knight in that configuration. Um, can't go there. Huh. I can give up a knight. See, again, this is one of those very knight safe patterns to be like that far away from it. Okay, right. Um, right, what do we do? Here. Yeah, well, it's a thought. <laughs> okay, game on. Game on. Uh, right. Okay, so what are we, plus four? That was just gash, wasn't it, really? Okay, so he's threatening this. If I threaten the knight... I can come back with check, I'll come down here. Yep, yeah, I come down here, hit the rook. Now the rook has to move, okay. And now my, this is like one of these double pin things. If, well, I, can, I guess I can move the bishop there. Bishop there is, is fine. He has a check. I'm going to attack the knight here. I can come here. He has another check. I, t I win the pawn, though. Okay, that I can get out of that with check, you see. Which is quite nice. And... I can take pawn. But I kind of, I kind of like this. Let's do this. And I can give check now. Can I not? Um, all right. I'll take the pawn now and threaten the knight. Now the knight has to do something. Now let's, uh, don't want to threaten, oh, I'll threaten that knight. Yeah, I can threaten that knight. I'd rather pin it and then threaten it, but. Oh. I'm down in material now. This is not good. But I can do this with two attackers on there. Ah, uh, and he moves with a defense. That's clever, clever. Right, you bugger. I'm coming for you now, and you're not going to like it. Okay, here, knight takes, I think, that I can convert a pawn before he can stop me. Um, I want to be on this diagonal. So I'm going to come here and attack this knight. Okay, now here, takes, takes. I'm not going to allow that. 
Okay, that's a check. And with a pin on the pot. Oh! No way! I can't go there or there. So this green-faced bugger is winning my pot. You sod. You absolute sod. Okay, so now what we have to do is convert this pawn. He can go there, but now he can't go, um, go here, he goes here, I attack him, king defends. So I think I have to go here, he's got this. Here that king takes, I think we're okay. And this is the problem now, that the knight can't get to either of those two squares. Okay, I, I need to defend this square, so I'm going to bring my king here. And we get a queen. Okay, however, it ain't over. Pin one knight. Okay, so what we're looking for now is forks. Hmm. I feel like my king has to get closer. I need to keep my king and my queen unforkable. And that means uh, one easy way to do that. Now, king here, this knight is pinned. So he has to move with check. Okay. Uh, now, this is a forkable position, you see. But now, see, if I go here, he can block again. Um, what about this? This, you see, we fall to a fork. So this, we also fall to a fork. You've got to be very careful around these these tricky horses. Yeah. So he's got he had two moves there to defend. Now, um, maybe what we can do though is go for a classic checkmate and ignore the horses altogether. Now that's mate. Okay, so I'm going to come here. Need to be careful. King, queen are on the same colour. This is not good. Uh, but that, I believe, wins us. Oh, no, I'm in check. Yoy, yoy, yoy. Back to here. Different colours, that's good. And... He's still wriggling free. This is check. <laughs> now he has to go against one of these squares to defend. Um, I'm going to come into the dark square. Knights, knights are paired here. Okay. Hmm. Now, is it even is it winnable? This is interesting. With good play. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to squeeze the life out of the king. <sighs> no, can't come there because that is a fork. Alright. Now I want my king. 
I think he may have got himself in because I can't touch these knights. This is the problem. Cannot touch these knights at all. Queen can't take one. King can't take one. Okay, now here. Now you have to move a knight. Now we've made you move a knight. Okay. And this surely wins a knight. Yeah? It's check. King has to go into the corner. Check. Mate. Whoa. Well, I made a right meal out of that one, didn't I? Who's next? Zombaru at 1800. Well, based on current performance, I don't fancy my chances all that much. Okay. And we have a Spanish. We're going to go Janish Gambit. Uh-huh. Okay, if I take Knight Takes... Isn't this Halloween style? Let's go Halloween style. Attacking the knight, he hasn't got time to... Oof. Okay, now, hang on. We've got queen out ideas, haven't we? I can't take here. Ooh. If I take, queen check, bang. Knight takes. But again, the problem is, that this is interesting. This is, um, because my knight's pinned. So what do we do? Break the pin? Queen h5 check? No? Okay, I'm going to take back with pawn, I think. I don't have to, actually. I, I've got this, but then bishop recaptures. We, I've seen that pattern before. Okay, queen there. He's trying to checkmate me. Knight. Oh, he didn't even take. Wow. Okay. I'm inclined to bring my bishop out here. What's his idea? They can't jump. Okay, I'm attacking the underfunded knight. I'm getting ready to castle. Oh, wow. Okay, I move here. You can have the rook. I take... Right, so that's still kind of equal. Now, I think castles is correct here. Yeah. This is... This is a very interesting variation on a theme. Okay, now... I, I'm drawn to this move. I like this move because it attacks the knight. Breaking the queen's defense of it. Centralizes my knight. Rook a8 is also an idea. But that's... Okay. And d4. Right, I'm not unhappy. I'm not unhappy yet. Right, we have some nice pressure on the f2 pawn. I've got three pawns, so, so basically I'm one pawn down, but it's the f pawn. And in return, I have scope for my rook, which white does not have. Um, his bishop is... could be better. He's he's stronger on the dark side. We have opposite coloured bishop situation, so I'd like to get my queen like on the G file, but I can't. I really want to dislodge this knight, don't I? So, am I going to have to use my knight to dislodge his knight? I think that is the answer. I think we're going to have to come here and force a trade. Okay, and sack my queen. Well, there you go. <laughs> Early morning chess, not the best, but uh, this is fun. Zombaru, I'm coming for you. I'm going to beat you this week. Okay, so expect more zombie action in the Monster Mash.
this week. All good fun, but that was just that was just that was terrible. I didn't even think. But there you go, guys. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Um, I would say that well, certainly the other ones up to this point are very generously uh, yeah rated. Maybe the Danny Wrench at four hundred is about right, but other than that, uh, they were a bit easier than I thought. But you got yeah, got to watch your back with that uh, Napomniachtchi one. Definitely for sure. Anyway, lots of good fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow.